What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're over here at the shop. B&D, they knocked this thing out. Look at the bull. Look, look, sitting over there. Look, look. You see that block way over there? That thing is ready. So they had to work on it um, using their professional advice on what we can do to make this thing work better, make it go faster, and hopefully... How many passes did I get out last time? Man, I screwed it up bad. I, I, It was my fault. It was my problem. Pretty sure it was the rev limiter on the traction control that was getting me banging off that rev limiter at 30, 40 pounds of boost probably is not good. So we're going to fix that. We've already fixed it. We raised that thing way up. A couple other issues, oil contaminated with methanol, that probably didn't help either. But uh, hopefully this time we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit better. Go to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some merchandise. Don't forget, November 26th, the Turbo John Backwards Brawl is happening at Knoxville Dragway. Come see us, go check out our Facebook page. All right, so Mr. Bobby and Danny, they knocked this thing out for us. Uh, Bobby, what'd you find on the block? Line home. It was a little bit tight. It's a little bit tight. What? You, how much did you say you had to open it up? Thousand and a half. Thousand and a half. Yeah. So I mean, it went from two to three and a half. Mm -hmm. So I mean, two is really tight, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's about what it is. So, uh, so, so something else I'm learning here. Uh, <laughs> thanks, sir. So, something else I'm learning. So Bobby calls me yesterday. He said, he said, well, we're fixing. Um, you know, we're checking everything, and we're about to be done with the block. But do do we need to? clearance the bottom of it for that extra stroke i was like hadn't really thought about that i was like no i have not thought about that at all so um they went ahead and done that for me and so uh you know I, like i said i'm i mean i'm not these guys are professionals i mean they know what what they're doing i mean i would have got that thing back stuck the first rod in it and spun it over and it would have hit <laughs> and then i'd have had to take it back apart and then clean it and that would have been a disaster so, um, yeah, anytime y'all see anything that needs to be done, y'all just, y'all have at it. Cause I don't know, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. And clearly I'm good at blowing them up. I'm not good at building them. I'm not good at putting them together. Not good at making decisions at <laughs> making them work, but, um, y'all are. So, uh, he's got this thing ready. So cleaned it all up, line honed it. Yeah, boy, that looks much better. So that looks good. All those look good. And you see where it touched almost all of it, except for a couple little spots. So that was definitely tight. A little tighter right in here. Right. God, that's crazy, man. That is insane. Um, look, the blue devil is still sticking around on the block. Uh, that stuff is crazy. So he's got everything notched out. Some of it was notched previously from blowups, apparently. But this is what it should have looked like on a new block. So he's got that clearanced out. So that is good. The other thing he was just pointing out to me, um, he's got the same block. They Actually, they both run the same block, essentially. And they don't run restrictors in the front of the block at all. It is naturally restricted in the block. So um, when they cleaned everything, they got everything and just put plugs in it. Uh, the, uh, it was just loaded with metal from the spin in the barren. I mean, priority main. Restrictors on top of the restrictor already had. Right. Thing to no. Yeah. Restrictors filled with metal is a bad thing. So they got the block. Let me show you the crank. So we're going to load this thing up there, done with that. And let me show you the crankshaft and everything else. And then we'll be set. They just got a crankshaft over here. We were joking. He told me, Mr. Bobby said I need to put a pro charger on my car. <laughs> That's a negative. That is a negative. We have lived the pro charger life, and it is not pleasant for me. So this is the crankshaft, and uh, they actually, it's big block Chevrolet style, um, crankshaft. So this is actually perfect. Uh, 400 mains, big block Chevrolet snout. They, they got this already machined for a double keyway. If we decide to do it, they polished it up. This thing doesn't have many passes on it at all. Uh, Danny Ray's already set the clearance on it. He's grinded the thrust bearing. I should have just brought everything and just let y'all put everything together. Once again, we might do that. <laughs> um, but this thing, man, this is a nice crankshaft. This is, you said it was a scat crankshaft. Um, but it's a 4340 scat crankshaft. I mean, I think I don't think we'll have any problems with this one. Now, this is an older one here that they don't cut down. The new ones, they cut way down up here. Oh, that's where you have the issues mm -hmm. at, right? It cuts that's it down. Don't cut down. Right, and he did he did have to balance it, take some weight out of it. He said it'd take like 80 or 60, 80 on one end, 60 on the other end. Uh, so they balance crankshafts and stuff up here. So that's good. At least I didn't have to add any Mallory. That cuts yeah. off on, on you know some of the balancing cost. On materials i mean those slugs are very expensive now so uh we got a crankshaft 3.7 it's gonna be 409 cubic inches so that ought to be a little bit more torquey should be. i would imagine unless unless i fail at my head gaskets again and <laughs> they, they don't seal and i get water down in there if you don't seal turn the water on <laughs> don't think i won't that's look, no, last time that copper coat that's why i couldn't believe that the copper coat lasted 
and stayed on the pistons through, I mean, it, I mean, it was made 15, 1500 horsepower. That's a new piston coat in this custom design. Um, look, we could, we could, we could, look, we could do the skirts. That's our new skirt coating so that they don't wobble. It'll wear out where it needs and then it'll just, yeah, that's some redneck stuff I would try probably. All right, guys. Well, we are, we got, got parts and pieces. So next couple videos, you will see me uh, trying to reassemble this stuff. Uh, hopefully, it'll go together pretty soon, uh, and I won't have any issues. Maybe next weekend we can we can be racing. Uh, I might try to go. I might go enter the bracket class at uh, the, the the race at Galat. Come on, we call you out first That's a no. I don't know about those sticky tracks, stick because we got our big race coming up in at the end of November, and I'm like, man, I don't need to be trying. I'm stupid is one thing is I'll turn it wide open, <laughs> but oh, we're gonna make 50 pounds of boost. Let's go. Uh, now, what do you think on uh, tuning wise? You you tune all your stuff, so you're a good tuner with the Holly stuff. You got Holly on yours. What do you have on yours? You got Ben's big stuff. You got to be the only person with big stuff left around. Is there anybody else? I don't uh, think there is. Henry Dale's got it. On oh, Henry Dale's got it too. So big stuff is. I mean, that you, you, your two options used to be fast and big stuff, and I mean they kind of went away when Holly come out and Fuel Tech. But I guess some people so, still are using it. This Gen Four is really big. Is it nice? Well, um, what do you think? So going from a 3.34 stroke to a 3.7, three and three quarter stroke, 3.75, compression is going to go from about 10.5 to 12.9. Woo. That's going to be the issue. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what do you, what, I mean, what do you think? Just take, take, take three or four degrees of timing out of it? Yeah, you don't have to. Keep I mean. Oh my God. You just said what Randy says, blow the heads off of it. <laughs> Randy likes to blow the heads off of stuff. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So we might turn, we might, yeah, we, we're going, I guess we'll just turn it down and I, mean, I got should, plenty of fuel. I mean, have to run as much boost no, that's true too. And it, it probably won't make as much boost. That's, that's a, a true point. So, uh, we'll see. I am trying to get another camshaft on uh, the camshaft. Um, it's another used camshaft, but it's got 112 level state pressure instead of 109. I bet this thing, I bet this motor should sound really good with the hundred, the camshaft that I got in it now. It sounded really good before. If nothing else, it'll sound good. I probably wouldn't have asked Cam much of that much compression. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, I could retard it some. This camshaft right now has got, I think it's got 58 or 59 degrees of overlap. So, uh, but it's only 109. I put it on, I think I put it on 110 load separation before, or intake center line before. Uh, cranking compression was not very much on the other one. It was, uh, I think 150 pounds. What do you, what do you, what, what do you normally run cranking compression? Around 165, 170. Okay, I got you. So that's a good number. Just keep retarding the camshaft until I get yeah. to 165, 170. <laughs> that's pretty good, like that. right? I mean, I used to. I've had a couple motors that have been in the, the 200, 210, and they were very sensitive. Yeah. Kind of finicky. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate it once again. Uh, you know, knocking this stuff out and getting us back where we can uh, try to race again. We're about a tenth slower than the other. Well, I'm, I'm done then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to trade it in because I was, um, I'll, it only run 147 on the in the eight last couple times. I got to go 160. I got to be able to go 160. So if not, then we might need to upgrade some stuff. Mr. Bobby's getting oh, close over there. Uh, the heads, big stuff. Oh look, he's a big stuff fan. <laughs> It's, yeah, that's why big big stuff to a new tuner and uh, some new software and some new hardware. Hardware is probably one of the things. Which that that, that I don't think I'll have a problem with the crankshaft at that power level. Um, we went for into four forties when it was um, the other scat crankshaft. It was a three point eight seven five, and it broke a rod and killed the crankshaft. And that's how I ended up with the short stroke crankshaft. But, you know, it is what it is. I think we'll be fine, hopefully. Um, all right, guys. Well, I guess we're done. Um, just wanted to show you our machine shop. Bobby and Danny, appreciate it, B&D. Knocking it out. Let's go racing.